Twin brothers Emmett and Cooper have some exciting summer plans to go to England. Into like museums and we're going to go see Shakespearean plays and stuff like that. Their mom Kirsten says the trip will be great for the boys to learn life skills, but she is also focused on their schoolwork through the summer months. As far as school is concerned or more academic subjects, um, I really like to keep up some reading um, and so they do reading on their own, reading with mom and dad. They also um, will be doing some writing, so I really hope this summer that we can um, have them write once a week and then have them edit that material as well. And then finally, uh, to really keep on top of the basic facts and math, so whether they be in addition, multiplication, subtraction, or um, division. Dr. Steve Trush, founder of the Reading Foundation in Calgary, says summer can be a good time to focus on areas your child might be struggling in. So summer is a good opportunity for kids to just have a holiday, so some kids are better off just taking a break from school and all the rest of it. But if your child is struggling in school and has some weaknesses in areas, basic core literacy areas, the summer is a good opportunity to do a lot of catch-up work. All right, so that's our, our clinic is very busy in the summer for that very reason. I think there's some even early markers in kindergarten. So if your child is um, struggling with learning the names of the letters of the alphabet, that's a, a red flag for sure. If there's a history of speech and language delay in the family or with your child, that's a red flag. If your child uh, resists being read to, that's another red flag. If your child um, is difficulty printing the alphabet letters, again, another you know, red flag. As for a few things you can do with your kids this summer, you're talking about reading. Reading to your child is the best single thing you could do in, in just a fun camping situation without making it a chore for your child, right? Uh, math is another matter. Again, it depends on what level of math they're at and so on. So yes, just sort of count the number of rocks here. Uh, you know, let's, if you divide these rocks in two, how many would you have in each pile? You know, that sort of thing. Again, again that has to be appropriate to the child's age. For Kirsten and her boys, learning through the summer makes September a little easier. We normally do get some testing at the end of August as well when they come here and if we've kept it up really well, um, the testing shows that <laughs> that the reading and the writing and the math has, has kept pace or they at least haven't lost over the summer and I think for a lot of people that's the main goal is so that they don't actually lose the ground that they've cr gained in the previous year. Um, so I think, you know, we notice that it's more difficult to go back to school and as well um, we can see the numbers that it's, it's true. For Go in Calgary, I'm Kate Hutchinson. Okay, that's a big, long, tough